cheese, milk, eggs. They're the protein-rich foods we were raised on. But instead of making us strong, are these foods making us sick? That's the blockbuster claim life changer Dr. Colin Campbell and his medical student son, Tom, make in the China study. The most comprehensive health and nutrition study ever conducted. A stunning 30-year endeavor partnering Cornell and Oxford universities and concluding your diet can reverse cancer and heart disease, even get you off medications for diabetes and MS. Now he's explaining the dangers of an animal protein diet to best-selling wellness author, extras Kathy Preston. You saying that animal protein causes cancer? Yes, one is consumed in excess of the amount of protein we need. And most of us eat two and a half times the amount we need. It shifts the balance of hormones. It increases the rate at which cells divide and grow as part of the cancer process. At each step, more animal protein created more trouble. What would you say to a mother who's giving her baby or child milk to build strong bones and grow? I said dairy is not a good food at any age, especially for children. The countries that consume the least dairy have the lowest rates of osteoporosis. The National Dairy Council strongly disagrees, telling extra the bone health benefits of daily dairy consumption have been established for decades. Is there really hope that you could reverse the process of cancer or heart disease with a diet? You certainly can with heart disease. Almost 100% of diabetics, once they switch to a plant-based diet, can get off their insulin. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. They were able to suspend and stop multiple sclerosis in 95% of the suspend cases. Suspend or stop it? Or stop it. It's almost like food as medicine. Food, food as medicine. medicine. It's the revolutionary approach giving hope to patients everywhere. Turning to a plant-based diet, you're saying, is up there with perhaps surgery and chemotherapy? Yes. Just one of the blockbuster claims Dr. Colin Campbell and his son Tom make to special correspondent Kathy Freston and in their book, The China Study. This information is vastly superior to the way that we now do things. But get this, according to the current government food pyramid, you're looking at an acceptable day's worth of nutrients. And of course, this food is, is toxic. I mean, literally, it's toxic. Colin Campbell spent 30 years researching plant-based nutrition and illnesses like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Not only do they prevent these diseases, but they can actually suspend them when they're already present. For optimal health, Dr. Campbell says, stick with antioxidant-rich colored vegetables, fruits, potatoes, and whole grains. What to stay away from? I would say dairy, meat. Too much uh, you alcohol. know, I might throw in soda, refined yeah. sugars. So, how much do you know about nutrition? What do you think makes you stronger, meat or vegetables? Definitely a meat eater. Meat. Vegetables. Can you get protein from plants? No. Yes. Yes.